Hello everyone, this is vu 3 zaj Suraj here. Today we will be discussing about uh, programming UE5R using Arduino. We will also be discussing about uh, cable used for programming this particular radio. So this is a simple cable that we can make using a uh, few wires as well as uh, two 3.5 mm jack and a 2.5 mm to 3.5 mm adapter. This is a very easy task and uh, we will be using Arduino to connect the radio with uh, the Raspberry Pi and we will be using Chirp software uh, for uh, programming this particular video so I have used a 3.5 mm TRRS type of uh, jack here uh, because it was available with me uh, you can use a normal 3.5 mm jack for this connectivity so if you are using TRRS type of jack then uh, one thing you need to make sure is that uh, you need to short the sleeve and the next ring adjacent to the sleeve as you can see I have shorted the sleeve and adjacent ring make it work as a tip ring and sleeve jack so let's connect the 2.5 mm to 3.5 mm adapter and uh, be connecting uh, the other uh, jack to the radio's uh, port on the other end uh, we'll be connecting this to the Arduino so this is the connectivity diagram uh, explaining the connectivity from radio to Arduino to disable any program running in the microcontroller we need to connect the reset pin to the ground The green wire is uh, the ground, the yellow wire is RX and the orange wire is TX. So let's connect that to the Arduino. Connecting the radios uh, TX and RX pin to respective TX and RX pins of Arduino. Now connecting the ground of the radio to ground of the Arduino. Connecting the USB cable uh, through which I will be connecting the Arduino to Raspberry Pi. Now let's download the chip software. Go to the particular link and download this uh, source tarball. I have extracted this in uh, download folder itself. And I'll be opening the chip uh, using this uh, particular uh, file. Now the chip is open. So in radio, you have to click download, select the port. At the same time, you need to turn on the radio. Keep the full volume. Select the radio's platform model number as UE5R now click open if your connection is successful then the red LED will start blinking in your radio also you can see the TX and RX LEDs blinking in the Arduino itself and you will get a display of the listed frequencies or saved frequencies in the chirp menu here you can modify uh, the name of the channel I am modifying the name of uh, two channels here clicking the radio option then click upload to radio this will upload the updated settings to the radio as you can see while uploading you can see that the green LED in the radio is blinking as well as TX RX LEDs are blinking in the Arduino after completing the import we can see the settings so here I need to change the settings uh, so that uh, the channel name should appear. So after modifying that I am able to see the channel name here that uh, we have set here.
so it's working as expected now let's check out uh, how to import uh, bulk data in csv format into chip before that you need to export the data save it uh, in some known location with an extension of csv you have to select the required frequency or you can select all frequencies as per uh, requirement then go to the downloaded location open the csv file Now do the modification as per requirement and you can also add additional frequencies below. So I will be just uh, testing a uh, simple modification here. Now again uh, importing the CSV file using file import menu. Select the required uh, channels you want to import. I am selecting uh, all as a default. So here we can see that uh, the file is imported successfully. Now we need to import this to radio. So while importing you can see that uh, the, the green LED is blinking in the radio and as well as the TX and the RX LEDs are blinking in the Arduino. So after the change the radio will reset and uh, uh, you can see the changes happened uh, by selecting the menu and all so again I am uh, changing the settings uh, to display the name of the channel so here you can see the name has been updated so that's all uh, with this video thank you once again